Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and even hit the thanks button. Well, when it's slow times, we talk about the team sale. Well, let me tell you about it from years ago, when the Washington Redskins, commanders now, uh, were kind of going on the block in the 1960s. George Preston Marshall's health was going, and a guy out in L.A. who owned some teams named Jack Ken Cook wanted a piece of it. So, George Preston Marshall sold him 25% of the team, all right, for $350,000. But that price also included Marshall's two homes in D.C. area. Three hundred fifty grand for a fourth of the team. Now, Cook would later on go on to buy the team, and when he did, when he got control of it, he would, the team was worth $16 million. Today, we're talking about it, you know, being sold for $6 billion or more, so... Wow, you know, Cook Cook got a bargain at that price, didn't he? And the thing is, Cook wasn't ready to get into it. So he hired a guy, uh, to, to Edward Bennett Williams, who was a big D.C. attorney, and you might remember him more for the Orioles. But he was instrumental in this team in the 70s, running it for many years until Cook wanted to come over. He's the guy that went for Bethard, you know, not Jack Ann Cook. That was uh, Edward Bennett Williams. Edward Bennett Williams was like an uh, attorney for the for everybody, the rich and famous. I mean, Nixon even said he wouldn't have been indicted on anything if he had had EBW. I mean, that guy was pretty wild. I, I, it's one of the most fascinating figures of all. I think even more so than Cook was Everett Bennett Williams, whose law firm is still uh, around in D.C. But Cook got it off, you know, back then. And back then, Everett Bennett Williams, like, gave out pieces of it, too. He gave 5% to EBW for running the team. He gave 5% to other people. He, Lombardi had 5% for coming for the one year, it turned out. You know, so it was kind of fragmented until Cook consolidated everything on there. And then, of course, it all was consolidated again because even like George Preston Marshall's people owned a little bit until the sale to Dan Snyder. Anyway, Jack Kent Cook got a steal. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. See you soon.